Except, whoa, whoa, guys, what's up, what's up? So I'm back with another piece from Auntie Momo. You know what I'm saying? Auntie Momo! If you guys have been watching and been tuning in, you'll be like seeing, I'm talking, reading this post from Auntie Momo, the peoples that are doing the things that makes the things to be done. You know what I'm saying? So today I got a piece, you know? I got a piece and I was like, all right, all right, let's, let's read some of them and we'll we'll get to know. You know, let's we'll get to know. So like this one says here, Hi, Auntie Mo Momoza. Why do men these days find it normal to not provide for their woman? As a man, it's your duty to take care of a woman even if she's working. Blast for me! Blast for me! Blast for me! Not in the 21st century. I can disagree fully on that thing with you now. I disagree. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I've been, I was like, before feminists became the level of feminists that they are now, like, that are just overdoing it. I've always been the person that's been like, it's equal, dog. Like, it's equal. You know what I'm saying? If I drive to the restaurant, you drive back from the restaurant. You know what I'm saying? We can go half, half on the bull. You throw the petrol, you buy the snacks. It's supposed to be equal, but no. Let's not jump into it. Let's just read what she has to say. I don't want to start preaching you know what i'm saying a seller a salary of a woman who is in a relationship must only be used for emergencies uh, nails hair toiletries clothes food bag shoes makeup etc must be bought by the men blast for me blast for me like like m m m listen girl i i heard you telling me about a relation uh, the, the lady's money must be used for emergencies like i wanted to say something but i kept quiet i was like okay it's fine let's hear let's hear what more blasphemy you want to say and now i read what you have to say there yeah, i'm like uh-uh uh-uh you see now 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 like honestly speaking that's messed up no let's finish let's finish let's finish you must also make sure that he spoils her rotten Mm -mm, entitlement you smoking drug you smoking drug uh presents and vacations built a strong relationship if he has a car he must make sure they uh make sure the tank never goes empty if you can't afford this as a man then stay away from women uh our grandmothers respected our grandfathers because they provided for them you can't expect uh, uh respect or anything from me if you do not provide for me men who can't afford to take care of their woman must date their gender and leave us alone lolo bella bella ah, ah yay blast for me honestly speaking eh? i feel like this is the problem with most ladies today you know what i'm saying because you'll have this type of mindset your like, head's not in the right space you know what i'm saying like this is the type of mind you get like our parents respected our our parents respected our fathers because they provide uh -uh. like honestly speaking father went to work mommy was making sure that the children are getting fed at home the house is clean he has a warm plate of food to eat at night you know what i'm saying and then father knows he's going out to provide for his kids that he helped his mother his wife to make you know what i'm saying it wasn't her responsibility alone so he knew he had to go out and work and make that money and with that money he makes he brought it back to home and he made sure that mama takes takes care you know what i'm saying it was a teamwork thing it wasn't because daddy was working now i'm respecting i believe there was mothers in the past that also worked you know what i'm saying but they came together and they put whatever they made together to make a strong foundation for the family so honestly even that logic is a messed up logic you know what i'm saying because i honestly feel like how are you gonna be walking around in the 21st century talking about men should be providing for ladies on his honestly i'm not gonna speak because like there is guys out there there is guys like uh my stepfather perhaps like he's the type of person like no i don't want my i don't want your mother to work i'm willing to provide i want to be there i want to provide blah, blah, blah. but my mother brings her share also in the relationship you know what i'm saying so you coming on being like hey uh, I mustn't, I mustn't, I mustn't, the men, men, and I must keep my money. That's bull. You know what I'm saying? You need to get out of that mindset. I feel like it's a, a, a holy, it's a messed up mindset, you know? And like I said, I'm not going to come see me like I'm complaining because I'm like, I want to provide. Dude, even if I have to be a billionaire, I will not be in a space where I'm going to just, I, I'm fine with providing, you know? I'm fine with providing, but I won't lie to you. My lady brings a lot of shit uh, to the relationship also, you know what I'm saying? And also, she, she makes her own money, so I don't care. I have no stress, you know what I'm saying? But regardless of that, you know, we come together, you know? I will do this, you do this, you know what I'm saying? I don't want you to feel like, yo, I'm providing only for you. I Like, like dude is the 21st century is i think like that's the problem you know because that's how you get people 
like a guy who has everything. He has his money, he has cars, he has everything, he has a house, he has all, that, all that stable, you know what I'm saying? And then he gets a lady, then she's like, okay, I'll, I'm here, you're just gonna provide for me and blah, blah. That's when he starts mistreating her. That's when they start getting abused because, I mean, he has everything. Why should he, like, like, you shouldn't stress about you, you know what I'm saying? That's how they get abused. They end up in a relationship where you serial killers, people are about to get to a for you. So, honestly, I don't like this post. Like, let me, let me not say I don't like this post. I feel like that's messed up. That's a nest, that's the messed up way of thinking. Like, you can't be thinking like that, especially in the 21st century. I'm a believer in equal with everything, you know what I'm saying? I'm honestly equal with everything. Like, unfortunately, because of patriarchy and how the world is going, some favor is still in men's favor. You know what I'm saying? But that's what the world has painted. In my home, I believe it's supposed to be like that. There's no power relations. You know what I'm saying? There's not going to be like... None of this nonsense that she was talking about. Uh, bella, bella, nye, nye, nye. There was some nonsense post that you were speaking there, but that's your opinion. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to come and call you out and talk nonsense about your post. But I honestly feel like you have a stupid way of thinking. And in the future, you are going to meet people. You might meet a guy who's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to provide, provide, provide. But you need to understand for men who are like that, they have a lot of options and they can mess with you emotionally if they wanted to. Because I can right now, you just, yeah, you're going to be just a piece of what? Like, cause I mean, I can pay for everything. I can do for everything. So how I can go katala what I want to also? Cause I mean, how are you? Are you? Are you mad? Are you mad? You think I'm going to do like this? Uh uh You see, partnership. You need to get the sense of partnership. You need partnership, girl. 